Paul, McGuire, Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Judy and Lois, I am so excited to talk to both of you today. I really enjoyed Uncle Frank as a gay man myself. Like it really resonated. It gave, and I think it will give a lot of people lots to think about. So kudos to both of you for being a part of this great ensemble. Oh, Thank we're you. we're happy to. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Lois. Um, if you could, if either of you could just pack up and go somewhere else right now, where would you go and what would be on your playlist? Lois? The idea of packing up and going anywhere is pretty I wild. can't. I know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I wish I could just go to a bar and have a drink with my friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You know, I would love to just like do one of those things where you're like, it's my birthday and everyone's having drinks at this bar starting at 6 p.m. Like, I can't, I can't wait for that. Can't Judy, I'm loving your it. background, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, both, all of the characters in this movie are really like learning and growing, even though sometimes they may seem like they're kind of stuck in their place. You both have had such fantastic careers, worked with the best of the best. How are both of you still learning and growing in your own everyday life? Well, we're lucky. <laughs> we're lucky. I mean, yeah. I th actually, I think both of us are in a, an art and a community, which is, that's really what it's about. It's something one doesn't do alone. And so we are automatically working together and that's, that's how you keep on learning more from mm -hmm. each other, you know, I think so. I, um, I've been struggling with that over this, this time off, really, like how to stay um, like inspired. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been watching movies and old movies and, and trying to read books and you know, not just watch the news all the time, but I think that this time as an artist is, uh, you know, for some, I think it's probably been incredibly prolific. If you're an actor and you around you, it's been a little overwhelming. Um, and, but uh, that's, yeah. you know, that's also something to take away for when this is over and we go back to work. Like this is all like stuff in our toolboxes. That sounded mm -hmm. cheesy, but you know what I mean. No, I totally understand what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of old movies, Lois, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about this. You starred in East of Eden with James <laughs> Dean. I'm sure you're getting this all day today, but I have to like, what mm -hmm. comes to your mind when someone mentions his name or you think about making that movie? Well, I, it was a, it was the first film I'd made. That's already a great, moment and excitement um it was you know i guess what i think is he was so good mm -hmm. and and so that's what elevated it to a it was important i think that frank is really struggling with feeling connected to his family a different set of beliefs a different set of morals which i think so many of us can resonate with right now what advice do you have for people that may be stuck right now and needing that reassurance to maybe reconnect with their families, especially in such divided times. Yes. I know I'm always torn about it. Um, I come from, I, I'm different now than I am, than my family, I would say politically and, and spiritually. And, um, but uh, I don't know. I think if you don't want to fight, don't talk about politics. And if, you know, you want, um, to try to have a real conversation maybe you know we have to all sort of a little bit try to see things from someone else's point of view um man i don't know though i'm just talking about politics i'm not talking about all the other stuff i mean you know i i it's a hard time it's a yeah. hard time to feel differently than your family and going into these holidays and going into it with this in the middle of this pandemic and some people understand and some people don't and we have to change traditions that we've always had and it's just a tough time it's and each person's story is different with their yes. family and you have to deal with this person this family there's no answer to your question because each answer is complicated and different I love that answer, though. That's a great answer. It was great talking to both of you. Judy, I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. I am so excited. I'm a huge yeah, Halloween did. fan. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. So thank good. you. It was great. What a real honor talking to both of you today. So thank you. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. 
McGuire Grimes, KSTP in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Sophia and Peter, I really enjoyed this movie. And as a gay man myself, like it really resonated. And I think it just gives you so much to think about. So thank you for, to both of you for that. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, I want to start with you first. You get to work with a really fantastic ensemble of actors. Um, what were some of your takeaways working with all these greats? And did you get to hear any good Hollywood stories out of them? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know about that. I don't know why he's laughing. You probably remember something that I don't. I barely remember the stories that they've told me. Um, there were a lot though. They, 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 I, they were a lot of fun. Um, just, I remember like sitting together and kind of having like this kind of like a group, you know, that that scene where everyone's talking and eating together. And it was so weird, you know, having like at, you know, dinner with my family, but you know, it's all these amazing actors and then there's me. And so it's such a weird, a weird feeling, you know, um, but getting to be with them and getting to learn um, as they were acting, I think I got like an experience, like an experience that I would never had anywhere else. Um, and that's actually why I love this job so much. You get, to, you get to work with amazing people. Just by watching them, you can become a better actress and a better actor. Being gay in 1973 is very different than it is now in 2020. What, what do you want the queer youth of today to remember about that time? Or how was it so different back then? Uh, well, it's good for them to remember that, how difficult it was for people at that time. And nevertheless, they went through it and uh, they were victorious. So they should just keep on plugging through, you mm. know, and fight. Yeah. If you could pack up, for both of you, if you could just pack up and go on a road trip right now, where would you go and what would be on your playlist? Well, uh, I'm trying to... Uh, we're my family and uh we're waiting until we we can um go to scotland because my uh my brother is actually in going in college there and i've always wanted to go on a you know a backpacking trip and uh, apparently there's actually this uh pilgrimage of sorts that and it ends um at you know, uh, at saint andrews which is where my uh and so that's that's such a cool like I want to do that so bad so I, I I'm hoping at some point in these next uh four years I can go there uh and do that I don't know what's going to be on my playlist uh <laughs> anything really <laughs> do you right if you recommend stuff to me then sure go ahead do that. I would love to take a, a road trip through America you want, like, do you want to be... come with me well I want to go through Colorado and like uh, yeah uh, Montana Not, and Minnesota because I haven't been to these places and I hear they are gorgeous and whatever today's hits are I'm, I'm all for it you know there's a lot of good music I'd love to have you and Alan here in Minnesota because it's a great community we have a huge art scene and it's we love it here in Minnesota Peter I have to tell you before I go that six feet under I have my box set right here is my absolute favorite tv drama of all time like it's a show that inspires me and motivates me and like wrecks me and makes me want to be a better human. Um, what does that show me to you? And especially knowing that that finale is the top echelon of how you end a show with that is so impactful. I mean, I mean, needless to say, I mean, this show is what puts me on the map. Basically, I had done some work before, but it was like meaningless or for you know forget. <laughs> like yeah, so Six Feet Under put me on the map and was such a great role and such a great ensemble of actors and the writing was exquisite. I mean, it was so heartfelt. Alan is you know, uh, a borderline genius, actually, let's put it that way, <laughs> yes. of, of explaining the human condition and, and that ultimately it's all about mortality. And if we're just aware of that, mm -hmm. if you're just aware of that, the world would be in a better place. Oh, and we need that, yes. Uh, well, thank you so much. It's thank great you. talking to you. I'm so glad thank people you. are able to watch. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day, both of you. It was